Hey guys, welcome back to Pokey Oracle and I am back. I know I've been gone for a while now, but it was much needed for my mental health. I also finally got the things I need to start streaming again. You know what they say, third time's always a charm, right? <laughs> but I am super excited to be back and I thought it would be a great idea to open up the Brilliant Stars Booster Box. This is going to be a very big opening today and I'm so excited to see what we can get from this. Don't forget if you like this channel to subscribe, also like this video and comment, and let me know what your favorite V-Star card is. I also have a Twitch channel, which I will put down in the description below. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I'm going to try and be better and let you know what I will be posting for the week on YouTube. And let's see what we can get from the Brilliant Star Booster Box. So here's the beautiful Brilliant Stars. I'm curious how many V Maxes or V Stars we're going to get in this. I've noticed that it is a little difficult to get all of the full arts in the English set more than it is in the VMAX Climax. So my predictions were true. I have opened one of these off camera, but I still wanted to show you guys what Brilliant Stars is really all about. Now there are 36 packs and we are going to go through all of them. There are four different art styles and today I want to start with <laughs> the classic Charizard. It looks so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And let's get to it. Now one thing I have noticed with the scan code cards is there's a freebie for you is that there are white borders and then there are green borders as well two three and the energy so i am so glad to be back because honestly it has been a very long and arduous journey because lately i haven't been happy with everything that I've been putting out on the internet, such as, you know, these openings and mainly my streams for Twitch. And if you're not aware, I do have a Twitch channel, but it has been a very long journey. And um, I think finally I have the equipment I need because man, it has been, I'm just hoping that it's going to keep up with what I needed to do. So for streaming lately, what I have been doing, I started a new series, the God of War series, and I'm starting all the way back. Ooh, nice. We have an Ariados, Ariados, and then a Mewtwo as our rare. Ooh, nice. Don't have that one for the English set. But as I was saying, um, that really knocked my feet out from under me because the first computer I had was working perfectly fine. And then once, oops, did I just ruin it? <laughs> well, we kind of already ruined that, so I'm just gonna go through this we and that means I. It really brought me down and took the wind out of me. So hopefully now the equipment I do have is going to work. And I'm sure all of you understand that mental health is a very big thing these days. And to be perfectly honest, I really love opening up all of these Pokemon cards. I'm not the most knowledgeable about Pokemon, but the fact that I enjoy opening up all these cards. Ooh, full art Urshifu, nice. Ooh, and a holographic Infernape. I love that. But the fact that 
you know, opening up Pokemon cards is just such a fun thing to do. That's what I really needed to recognize and reevaluate myself and remembering that it's not always going to be about getting the best card. It's not always going to be about, um, you know, getting the newest thing right away. And I lost sight of that. And it was really discouraging for a while, but now I'm back and I'm super happy to be back because there are so many different sets coming out. Reverse Hollow Cast Form and an Electrovir. And I have so many things that I want to show you and <laughs> so many ideas that I'm super excited that I can't I can't wait. I really can't wait. And I hope you guys are excited too. I do apologize for disappearing. But at the same time, I did feel like I needed a little bit of a break. It is a lot of work and a full-time job, especially when you don't know a whole lot about what you're doing because everything is super new. So it takes a lot of time and learning and also understanding that there are a lot of emotions that go into not only videos, but also Twitch streams. Twitch streams, there's no hiding who you are or what you say. It is all live, but it is certainly so much fun. I really love doing it, and I feel like a big kid playing those games. I really do. <laughs> And I feel like it's one of those things that is meant for some people. And for some people, they enjoy working. Ooh, a Sincere V. Very nice. I do not have him. So we will add him to the collection. But for me, I feel like opening up Pokemon cards and playing games that hopefully entertain you as much as it entertains me. I hope... Um, you guys enjoy it just as much as I do. So we have a water energy and we have a grottle berry, clang, burmy, a star you, magmar, throw, ha lucha, another berry but reverse hollow. Oh my, oh my god, you guys, this is the best card one of the best cards to pull i'm so excited he is 176 out of 172 telling us that he is a secret rare no less and he is beautiful oh my goodness he is a little left heavy and i've noticed that the cuts on the english cards are very harsh i feel like they are in a rush to get them out as soon as possible but you know what he is a 10 in my eyes he is a perfect gem in my eyes I love that so I think there's only one secret rare in every single booster box so if we already pulled our secret rare so be it that doesn't mean we can't get the full art Charizard. How cool would that be? That card looks so pretty. And then I would really love to get the uh, full art Mimikyu. Oh my gosh. That would be really, really cool. <laughs> All right. Cleansing Gloves, Dust Clops, Shroomish, Throw, Cast Form, Tripinch, Gibble. Alcreme or Alcreme and a Magmortar. There's been a couple things that I have been thinking about doing and lately um, I've noticed that there have been lots and lots of Pokemon tournaments and I mean granted there's always Pokemon tournaments but especially with these new sets with brilliant stars because you know you have the star v's now um i've noticed that people are getting a lot more into playing the pokemon card game and i was wondering if you guys thought it would be a good idea oops for me ooh, a 
Full Art Vaporeon, Gary's Vaporeon. That is so pretty. Oh, I love the colors of that. Ooh, so pretty. I'm so in love. That is great. Um, so my question is, do you th think, do you guys think it would be a good idea for me to start learning how to play Pokemon? Not gonna lie, I am really intimidated by it. Um, only because it is a lot more to learn. It is something totally different than what I've experienced. And I think I'm a little intimidated because I played, I love that Starmie. <laughs> I played magic when I was in high school and I wasn't very good at it, but I do hear that magic is one of the most difficult games to play, card games, and a good old muck. So, but I hear that Pokemon is actually one of the easiest to play out there, which gives me a little bit of hope that I might actually be good. <laughs> so we shall see. All right, uh, a three to the front. Like I said, it has been a long journey. I actually, during my time off, ooh, Marnie's Pride, <gasps> that full art would be really pretty to get. I forgot about her. But during my time off, I actually went and had a couple little vacations and it was much needed, let me tell you. But it was so fun and exciting. I actually went to Disneyland and I also went to Universal Studios down in LA and I cannot believe how much fun I had. I was in Harry Potter world for the entire day I was there and I bought a wand. If y'all want to know what wand I got, ask me down in the comments below. <laughs> Ooh, a Dusk Noir. I love it. That is so pretty. And then a Dredagon. <laughs> A Drudgegon. Very nice. Anyways, yeah, that was a nice little getaway, I gotta say. It was so much fun. I didn't know that the Harry Potter world could be so much fun that it could literally take one entire day just to see everything. I... <laughs> I was having so much fun casting all of the spells. At the little certain checkpoints. And oh my gosh, it, it's just so cute to see all the little kids having a great time as well. And, and you know, Disneyland is always so much fun. The rides never really change, but you know what? That is okay. There is our V-Star marker card. Figured that out, and I was right in the beginning. I'm gonna go through these a little faster. There's Kachu, Marnie's Pride. Ooh, and a Raikou V. He's very, very majestic. I like that. Okay, see how this one has a black border? Sorry, not a not a green border, but a black border. And then this one has the white border. I'm not sure exactly what that means. There's a code, I can't remember if I already gave it to you. Um, three to the front, get rid of the dark energy. But Disneyland is always so much fun. And I don't know if you guys know the show Vanderpump Rules. <laughs> <laughs> I went to her restaurant called Sir S U R and I actually met one of the celebrities on the show, Peter. I was so surprised and starstruck. Like Peter's he's a cool guy. He's very nice. He seems to be a little quiet, but other than that, like, he was very nice and fun to talk to. Even though, um, I was, like, a little starstruck, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> but regardless, um, the food was yummy. 
Um, everyone there was very nice, but it was just, it was so strange to see a celebrity in real life. Because sometimes you're like, uh, ooh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> and that's me whenever I see somebody who, you know, I've seen on TV and it's actually kind of weird because it's like, you know, a lot about them, but they don't know anything about you. So it kind of, oh, did you see that shiny in the back? <gasps> what are we going to get? Cleansing gloves, chimchar, chimeco, golet. Core fish sock throw and ooh, we have a full art trainer of Sharon's Care. That is nice. I have not seen this one yet. I don't have it. And wow, I'm really impressed. That is so cool. The little line here is a part of the art. I was a little concerned about that. Like, what the heck? But yeah, that is part of the art, and he looks pretty dang good. A little bottom heavy. He's got a little booty in there. Very nice. And he is 168 out of 172. Looks like that's our full art trainer. I wonder if we can get another one. There's the scan code for you. Yeah, so that has been my adventure for the past four weeks i really needed a reset i think all of you can truly understand that sometimes life gets very stressful and you know what it's it's needed luxio and a holographic barrel so i think i'm going to open up about five more of these and then i'm going to do the mega deck which is, I'll separate all of the rares from the common and uncommons, and then that way we can go through the commons first, and then go through all of the rares after all together. Ultra Ball, hit them on top. Like I said, I'm gonna go through these a little faster. We do have quite a few to go through still. Dedene, and good old Flang On, very, Good. We've actually gotten a lot out of this. I'm very surprised, pleasantly surprised. But I would like to get another alternate or full art. I really love those. Those are so cool. Whoever decided to like give the okay for that in the Pokemon realm, good job. <laughs> good job. Dedene, Reverse Hollow Clink, and ooh, a holographic Moltres. Super nice. Okay, go on with this one. <laughs> one, two, three. Get rid of the darkness energy. Kindler, Purloin, Piplup, Tripinch, Turtwig, Swak, and Wormadam. Wormadam. All right, so I'll open up four more and then we will do a 10 pack mega deck. How does that sound? There's the code. One, two, three. And there's the fire energy. Bless you. You'll probably hear my dogs here and there just so you know. And they are running about today in and out of my office. Oops. Firmary. Claudant and Reverse Torterra. Okay. Charizard pack. Maybe the Charizard card. Who knows? Let's see. Let's find out. There's a code card for you. One, two, three. Boop. And we have a Clay Doll. Executor. Haunting Gloves. Gibble. Boozle. Halucha, Electabuzz, Bidoof, Siliglyph, or Sigilyph, Sigilgibrrrr, and Tornado. I like how they made all the Nadus's, Nadus, Nadoses, Nadus, um, all different elements. Like, you know, you have Tornado, which is wind, and then you have Landorus, which is ground. Duh. All right. Dusclops, Starmie, Cynthia's Ambition, 
We have Magmar, Corefish, Sneasel, Duskull, ooh, Reverse Halucha, and Excavia. All right, last one before the Mega Pack, you guys. Honestly, I really enjoy doing the Mega decks. I like seeing everything all at once. I don't know, I just think it's more exciting that way. You never know what you're gonna get. Ultra Ball. Morgrim, Piplup, Shroomish, Starly, Execute, Trapinch, Breloom, and Bing Bing, a Dracovish V. Very nice. I'll put him over there. All right, so I'm going to cut these and get these ready for opening. We have all the rares in this pile and all of the common and uncommon in this pile. So I'm going to split this one because I got tiny hands. We're just going to go through these real quick. Why do I see a shiny? Did I do goof? Well, now I'm curious. What the heck? I think I goofed up, you guys. <laughs> well, we have a Rapid Strike Mustard. Very nice. I think it's one of those, um, like, you know, you get the rare in the second slot instead of the last, or second to the last slot instead of the second, the second to the last slot instead of the last slot. Blur. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to go through these real quick and let's get the second part of this. Here we go. My brava. Sork, Cherub, Clefairy, Carablast, Milkery, Cynthia's Ambition. Seeing the same old, same old good old Turtwig back there. Little Starmie again. Shinx, Excavia. Clap Stadium, Vibrava, Starry, Axu, and oh my gosh. I don't know if you're able to see, but there is a very bad texture at the top. You see that? Oof. See what I'm saying? Like these cuts, I am so. I'm surprised that they even went through. Okay, so let us check out the rares. We have a Cling Clank, Hawksaurus, ooh, an Entei V to go with his buddy back there, Raikou. We have Star of Poor. Are you kidding? Oh Are you kidding me? So we not only have the secret rainbow rare, but we have the gold. We got two secret rares, you guys. You see this? Oh my gosh. So we got the rainbow rare first, and then we got the gold. <laughs> I am so speechless. Well, I think that is the coolest thing. So we have a <laughs> holographic Garchomp, a Lipard. Alcreme and a Kingler V to finish off today's opening. Wow, I am still so surprised that we were able to get these two in the same booster box, no less. Holy crap. How cool is that, you guys? Well, I am so happy that we got those Arceus cards. Those are so cool. I don't know if you consider that a God Booster box, but nonetheless, I'm so happy that we got those really like super pretty cards. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to leave likes and comments. And don't forget to follow me over on Twitch and Instagram. And I will see you guys next Thursday at three here on Pokey Oracle. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>